guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this morning. And I hope everything is going well for you. Well, in today's video, we're, I'm going to show you the results of the pH test that I took yesterday in the soil where I'm going to plant my potatoes. I'm going to show you a test that I took about four months and, and show you the, the pH then. And we're going to go over uh, a little bit on how pH works, the importance of pH, and kind of how long it takes to change your pH. So, guys, if you're a new gardener, a beginning gardener, somebody that's never planted potatoes before, or somebody that maybe wants to lower their pH, this is going to be a good video. So, guys, what I did, my, my potatoes didn't do good last year. They've, all, they've done better in years past. So, I did a soil test, I did all this, and I, and I took my pH uh, levels throughout my garden. And where I'm going to plant my potatoes this year, it was high. So here's the results of that test. I'm going to show you right here. And as you can see, it's, it's a seven or above. Now, potatoes like a six to a six and a half. Um, so I knew I needed to lower it just a little bit. The reason why I wanted to lower it was one, it, it helps the size of your potatoes if you're growing in the correct pH. And it also helps fight scab, which is kind of like a, uh, if you've ever seen like brown spots on potatoes, that's scab. Now, <clears throat> why this is, why pH is important is because it determines the availability of nutrients that your plant can take in. So the nutrients might be there, but your plant just can't take them in as good. Now there is a range to all this. So if it's not perfect, it's not a big deal. I don't uh, put as much importance on pH, like with zucchini or something like that, as I would potatoes. Because potatoes really do like a certain pH. And I'm growing potatoes in clay soil, which guys, potatoes don't like clay soil anyway. So I wanna give them every chance to do good, okay? so. Three months ago, I added garden sulfur, and I got a video on that. Um, you know, I was really hesitant about doing it, but um, I did it, I, and what I did, I took hay, leaves, manure, everything in this garden sulfur, and I tilled it in, and now I've put more hay and leaves and manure on top of that. I let it sit all winter long, and so <clears throat> here is the results of that. Um, and guys, as you can see, it worked. It worked, it lowered the pH. So I was really, really happy with that. Now, how does it work? Okay, what it does is, is uh, it's, it's a sulfur. It's a sulfur pellet and um, bacteria in your soil actually turns that into sulfuric acid, which in turn lowers the pH of your soil, okay? So, how long does it take? Well, I've had this in the ground three months, and I think it's gonna get a little bit better. Some are, uh, articles that I read said it takes a year. The bottom line is, is it's not an overnight process, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's not anything quick. So, guys, it, it the most important thing that I could probably tell you is, one, get a soil test before you do anything to change the pH of your soil. You can add organic matter, compost, all this. Uh, it's never, ever going to hurt your soil. But if you're going to put in a garden sulfur or a lime, you really want to make sure that you need to do that before you do it, okay? Now, compost... Um, organic matter, it will eventually, you know, it will change that pH. Uh, organic matter will fix just about any soil problem that you have eventually. So the garden sulfur did help it go a little bit faster, but guys, just remember, you can't change it overnight. So I think that's the video. It, it, you know, we're about a month away or so from putting potatoes in, and I wanted to get this video out. And so, guys, um, it's coming really, really quick, and I am excited. So, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later. 
See ya.